Good afternoon, everyone. The Department of Environmental Science with collaboration IQAC is celebrating the World Environment Day. June 5th is celebrated as the World Environment Day all over the world. It is a day to spread awareness about protecting the environment. June 5th was declared as World Environment Day by United Nations General Assembly at the Stockholm Conference on the Human Environment in 1972. First of all, I would uh, like to welcome the, our Honorable President, Mr. Biman Krishna Shah, our Principal Sir, Dr. Shapan Kumar Roy, Coordinator of IQAC, Dr. Bhaskar Chatterjee Sir, and our academic convener, Professor Divanjon Khosar, and all the teachers of Navati Bita Shagar College, and all the students of the Department of Environmental Science, Navati Bita Shagar College. Welcome all. Let us begin our today's webinar. First of all, due to some technical reasons, our respected patron of this program, Sri Bhiman Krishna Shaha, president of the governing body of Navati Bita Shagar College, has not been able to join our program. For, thank you, sir, for your active participation. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Shapun Kumar Roy, the principal of Nabuddhi Bitta Shagur College, to inaugurate this webinar and deliver his welcome address. Sir, over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all. Um, in the meantime, we have already known that the uh, uh, Department of Environmental Science in collaboration with IQAC, Navadi Bhittasar College is going to uh, start a webinar or web seminar on uh, World Environment Day. Uh, the main speaker, um, Dr. Subhendu Jana, who will deliver his speech on uh, grey water recycling and reuse. We know the time is very much short. The duration of the webinar is only one hour, so I do not want to say anything which actually kill the valuable time. I hope the uh, audience or the participants who have participated in this webinar will be will be very much happy to hear the valuable speech from our uh, distinguished speaker, Dr. Subhendu Manna, who is the assist, assistant professor. Department of Health, Safety and Environment, University of Petroleum and Energy Studi Studies, uh, Dehradun. Oh, actually, his uh, main area of discussion of today's seminar is grey water recycling and uh, reuse. I hope uh, the, all the participants will be en enlightened by hearing the valuable speech of you know, of Dr. Shubhendu Manna on the topic grey water recycling and reuse. The organizing committee is actually of this webinar is Dr. Dipanyan Ghosh, Department of English, who is also the academic uh, convener, convener academic subcommittee, Dr. Bhaskar Chatterjee, IQC convener, and the other teachers who are associated with the environmental science, Department of Environmental Science. Dr. Anirban Bishas, uh, uh, Professor Raja Banerjee, and Professor Suchi Smita Saha. Uh, from my behalf or of Navadi Vidyasagar uh, College, from, from the behalf of Navadi Vidyasagar College, and from the behalf of our president, uh, Sibiman Krishna Saha, I congratulate everyone, actually, the members who are the actual members of organizing committee. I hope the seminar will be a successful one and the participants will be benefited. Thank you. Over to Suchi Smita Saha. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. 
I think it's pretty clear. Okay. Uh, sorry. There, there have been some connectivity issue, I think. Uh, so, uh, uh, thank you, sir, for inaugurating uh, this. Uh, am I audible to all? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. Uh, so, thank you, sir, for inaugurating uh, this um, uh, actually a small seminar uh, on this day. Now, I would uh, request uh, Dr. Bhaskar Shah, uh, Chairman IQAC, to uh, Bhaskar Chatterjee. On... Bhaskar Chatterjee. Uh, sorry. Bhaskar Chatterjee. Yeah. Sorry. Bhaskar Da, please. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, Aniban. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank the, the faculty members of the Department of Environmental Science for organizing a nice uh, webinar on this day, that is the World Environmental Day on 5th June. So I would like to thank all of them, all the members who have taken this initiative in this day for organizing uh, this seminar in our college. Although it is uh, during this situation, it is all, already uh, all the seminars we are conducting in online mode, that is the webinars. And uh, I welcome all the participants who are present here today to listen to the uh, lecture of our esteemed, uh, esteemed speaker, who is Dr. Shubhendu Manna. I thank him for his precious time and uh, the effort he has taken to be with, be, for being with us. And he is an assistant professor from the uh, in the Department of Health as Safety and Environment, University of Petroleum and Energy Studies, Dehradun. And uh, we are all eager to listen to his uh, lecture, which is actually uh, a very interesting, which is actually on a very interesting topic, that is uh, gray water recycling and reuse. So I hope that this uh, webinar is going to be a real success and all of us, particularly the students, are going to be enriched through his uh, illuminating lecture and I wish you great success on this. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Master Sir. Uh, Onirvan Sir, am I audible? Yes, fine, Sushinita, please carry on. Okay, no, okay. Now, I would like to request uh, Professor Dipanjan Ghosh, uh, the academic convener of Nagati Bhita Shagor College, uh, to deliver a speech about this program. Sir, please. Yes, am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay, first of all, it is not the time to, uh, you know, enlarge my lecture here because uh, the time is very short as it has been mentioned by our uh, principal, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate all the departmental teachers and also the, uh, the committee that is organizing this particular seminar. And uh, as I have already been uh, mentioned here that regarding the academic discussions and something like that, uh, today is a very useful and very important day because it is the uh, World Environment Day. So therefore, uh, we must have to think about the environment in this present scenario, as you can see that uh, we are suffering from various kinds of crisis today and whether it is the psychological or maybe the social or in different perspectives, we can feel that uh, in the present scenario, we are suffering from various kinds of crisis. And environment today, uh, I must say here that uh, in our near future, uh, the crisis will be uh, considered to be, you know, uh, very much problematic too. In, in our near future, it will be a big crisis for us. So uh, probably we must not think about the environment only on a single day. Rather, we must have to think about the environment on, on each and every day, actually. Uh, and uh, so far as our department is concerned, so far as our college is concerned, we have been uh, organizing the webinars uh, for a long time. And now in, in between this, there is a particular kind of a gap. Uh, that means uh, a long chain of webinars were there. And now we are, again, it's a kind of a start with uh, this particular one. So I must congratulate them, therefore. And uh, we are vividly waiting for our uh, learned speaker who is present here. And I wish it will be a great success. OK, thank you. Sujishmita. Sujishmita, are you there? Yes. Okay. 
thank you sir now i want to request our another convener dr anirban bishwas to introduce our today's speaker dr shubendu manna anirban over to you anirbanda am i audible yes yes thank you suchita am i audible all good i think yes you are audible yes okay yes. okay on behalf of organizing committee and our college i uh, once again i welcome dr subendu manna he is actually very good friend of mine a uh, lot of time he has spent in uh, laboratory with uh, some specific research work and and so on actually still we are doing so many things all together uh, okay uh, his special dr manna specialty is actually in uh, waste water recycling waste water treatment and this kind of uh, research work he is very much interested in uh, presently he is doing that things also now he uh, today uh, regarding today as world environment day we know the we the resource is sufficient okay so uh, uh, it, it, this it is limited and uh, what we need actually to utilize it is uh, to utilize it much and more how so recycling is one of the way that we can use it again and again considering this perspective uh, now today he is going to uh, deliver a lecture in on grey water uh it is a kind of waste water but not the industrial waste water it is especially the domestic waste water okay so it has some particular characters and in some way we can use it again what are the ways how we rationally how we can use those okay so water resource is already limited right we already know and we in our study also we always focus on that issue now let's share his uh, experience and expertise what we are going to learn today about the recycling process and uh, how rationally we can use water actually not to waste it okay so uh, now no i am not taking any more time now uh, dr manna can you please start your lecture uh uh yeah well uh before i start uh, uh let me thank uh, principal sir uh professor chandra professor goes uh shuchishmita ma'am and obviously uh, dr vishash for inviting me here in this uh, webinar uh for delivering a lecture or rather sharing uh, my experience in uh, recycling and reusing grey water so uh again i thank you uh, principal sir anuban uh, anuban da and uh, the panjan sir and baskar sir so uh, for inviting me and uh, mm, obviously as uh, anuban da uh, introduced uh, the topic so <clears throat> the resources that god, uh, god give us uh, gives us that are be limited so we have to use it uh, in more sustainable way so recycling reuse, uh, reusing and regeneration this is a 3r principle you know you guys are uh, uh, all our environmental science students so most of of uh, you are will be or you already know that there is a 3r principles recycling reusing and regeneration principle for sustainable use of a natural resources so let me let me share my uh, few slides so that uh, it will be more interactive uh, so how i can screen yes share i guess i have to end the presentation so as uh, it is already mentioned that i'll be 
talking on gray water and its management strategies so uh, throughout my presentation it will be more uh, sold uh, small household uh, or uh, small apartment based uh, strategies here in uh, university of petroleum engineers i am uh, having a lab on uh, wastewater management mainly uh, although my uh, throughout research experience on uh, wastewater treatment that is not only gray water currently uh, we are moving uh, to to uh, a approach where uh we can utilize the gray water for preparation of uh, bioactive molecules like uh, uh, not only that also uh, for production of biomass like microalgae and extraction of those uh, uh, from that microalgae uh, extraction of uh, different bioactive compounds and also utilization of that uh, biomass uh, uh, for for production of lipid rich uh, biofuel so uh, biofuel resources actually so i am not able to share my screen i don't know why i guess this one uh, are my slides are visible onivanda Yes, uh, yes, are now, my slides are yes, visible? Yes, yes, yes now it is perfectly all right. Yes. I mean, I mean my slide. Yeah, your Some slides are uh, visible. No, I get thick chilo. Sure. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. I don't know. It is not sharing. Uh, stand up, Ajay. No, actually, but it's. 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 But just a moment again i will share it but uh, i cannot see it uh, that that's an issue you can you can see your slides okay now Tight, uh, as I as I send uh, to you. Shall I try? I really don't understand uh, what is happening. Yeah, please, oh, okay. please, uh, because uh, time is short. So. Okay, okay, okay. Just uh, just hold on for a second. I, I I'm trying to do it. Rujis Mita, please allow me one second. Show court check in do. Okay, 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 fine. Okay. Yes. Then abar kuchh na, abar hello, then abar stop hoega. Okay, it is. Okay, okay, it is fine. No, I think, but it is being eco. Okay, account. It's already. Yeah, already yeah so, something is happening. Like. Oh ho. बेटर अनिवांदा तुम ही शेयर करो बेटर इट इज बेटर अमी शेयर ओके चेक कॉन्स
Is it fine? Yeah, now it is visible. Okay. Anivan, uh, something is, is equal. Is it okay now? Yes, yes. Just, just. Yeah, it is okay. So shall I start? Yes, sir. Sir, you can start. Shubhendu, please start. Shubhendu, you can start. Hello, what happened to the system? Suchismita? Okay. Uh, and uh, 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 কিছু টেকনিক্যাল ইস্যুস এর জন্য একটু প্রবলেম হচ্ছে তো আমরা একটু টাইম নিচ্ছি হ্যাঁ জয়েন করেছেন স্যার ওয়েল আই এম সরি আই এম সরি অনিবন্দা প্লিজ শেয়ার দি স্লাইড ওকে সো আই এম বেসিক্যালি অ্যাজ অনিবন্দা টোল্ড দ্যাট আই এম বেসিক্যালি फ्रॉम ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ পেট্রোলিয়াম এন্ড এনার্জি স্টাডিজ হিয়ার ইন দেরাদুন and uh, uh here i'm uh doing uh mainly my lab is uh working on waste minimization and that includes solid and liquid waste and uh, in today's presentation i am going to share uh, my thought and and uh, current uh, advances on gray water management and the strategies uh, small home based strategies and uh, small apartment uh, based strategy strategies where we can reuse partly or if a, a, a 40 to 60% or sorry uh, we can actually uh, we actually and uh, yeah so we are actually uh, uh, trying to uh, develop some uh, strategies to uh, uh, to to remove the pollutants that are present in in a gray water and uh, if you look into the water picture in current environment that all, uh, only 2.6% of water is there they are sweet water and more than 99% of the, this sweet water is stored or kept unavailable as a as a ice in polar region or in in himalayas or or in other uh, throughout the year where ice are uh, there so they are kept unavailable as if uh, as ice so only only 0.0002% of air uh, water is available that are 
for our consumption okay and that include drinking purpose and also other domestic activities all right so water is needed for everyone for each and every living being we need safe water for drinking not only drinking for all the domestic activities right so it was it was already estimated long back in 1984 since then people are trying to utilize part of this uh, 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 gray water rather okay to replace for some non potable use non potable means where you will use the water where like for toilet flushing you can utilize this like for irrigation purpose you can utilize the gray water so main purpose of uh, gray water recycling is to reduce the increasing pressure due to huge population due to rapid industrialization due to rapid urbanization we need a huge amount of uh, day by day the uh, grave uh, fresh water demand is growing day by day all right main focus for grave water recycling is to reduce that that pressure to some extent all right and another issue due to this pro, um, huge and rapid urbanization one of the major problem is groundwater So uh, groundwater recharge, actually. the less groundwater recharge is happening right now, and we are taking off the groundwater. So that also, so util, uh, reutilization of gray water will also reduce the pressure on groundwater recharge. And uh, definitely, definitely, it will reduce the pollution load that we are releasing as a gray water not only gray water the black water and other water we will we'll, we'll go for the classification in, in, in next few slides so that reduction of pollutants all type of pollutants in the surface water resources is also will be reduced next slide anibanda so anibanda please next slide uh, yes so in the wastewater in uh, in a particular domestic uh, area or region we can classify it into four separate type of a wastewater it can be gray water it can be black water it can be urine water and all these water can be uh, treated all right so in gray water it is mainly the water kitchen, bathroom laundry and bathroom means from the basin only all right no urine or feces should be there in the gray water black water means the main flush toilet water that include urine feces and yellow water is only urine water in many public places by public toilet has uh, only urine urine water that particular water is termed as yellow water and also there are some brown water so all among all these four uh, my uh, research area is focused mainly on uh, currently is uh, based on the gray water management because it was found that around uh, seventy percent of the domestic uh, water consumption, fresh water consumption, is uh, released as a grey water. Okay, sixty percent of domestic. So you can imagine that sixty percent, if you can recycle back, how much you will save the water for future generation. So yeah, next slide is like uh, uh, that uh, six number slide can you go to the six number slide where pie chart is there so now if you can uh, differentiate the 
domestic activities and the water resource uh, water use fresh water use you will you will be amazed to see that that whatever the uh, activities you are doing in your uh, home mainly uh, uh, and that needs water 37% you are using for bathing and showering 37% of the water uh, consumption uh, in a household is only for bathing and showering and all this water this 37% water can use directly without any pre treatment this water can be utilized for irrigation purpose for uh, road washing right and uh, you can keep it for uh, further use definitely so because these uh, water gray water coming from bathing and showering they are mainly contain some soap or uh, some uh, bio mass all right so yeah next slide please and another thing is uh, if uh, the gray water coming from the kitchen there the bod percent will be very high because uh, uh, due to food sources and uh, oil grease all right so the, due to that um, the kitchen waste uh, will be so these all these gray water when you will see the actual composition of a particular gray water you will see uh, Onimanda, uh, can you show the next slide, please? Yes, this uh, this slide, uh, a particular table is showing uh, the per portion per day water use, fresh water use. Okay, or mm, sorry, gray water generation per uh, uh, the unit is liter per portion per day, and if you see that. Uh, the most of the uh, gray water is generated in Asian countries. All right. In Asian countries, uh, the highest amount of gray water is uh, being generated, like 72 to 2 to 5 liter per day per person. All right. In India, uh, this, uh, this particular um, range is like 70 to 80 liter per person per day. And uh, if you see the composition, you'll be amazed when i started working on gray water actually this particular composition gave me the idea that this is an amazing media for growing bacteria even the microalgae the most uh, uh, th this is one of the best media that you can utilize for growing microalgae what microalgae you know the single cell alga algae single cell algae that are rich in protein and lipid Currently, biofuel or biodiesel production is mainly uh, focusing on microalgal biomass base because there are some microalgae there. Uh, if you if you can enumerate the the seventy percent of their dry weight is um, lipid lipid containing, and it contain around twenty to thirty percent protein. So it the microalgae itself will be a very uh, good animal and fish feed not only that currently microalgal protein is extract being extracted and they are being utilized as a human feed also as a human protein source but definitely uh, yeah, they has to go through several processes because many microalgae produce toxin that can be very uh, lethal to uh, human or other Definitely it is there, but uh, microalgae are being produced uh, a huge amount for production of biodiesel. So uh, I was telling that uh, uh, the pH of the gray water around 6.8 to 9, and uh, they have very high amount of COD and BOD value, and uh, they contain phosphate and also ammonia these two are very essential for microalgae uh, generation or microalgae microalgal go, growth so next slide please but one issue is there where uh, with gray water is that the uh, presence of pathogenic bacteria 
presence of pathogenic bacteria are very very uh, uh, common in grey water so when someone is trying to utilize the grey water without uh, prior treatment it has to be very cautious, uh, cautious or or he or she has to be very cautious uh, for utilizing because it it contain very very pathogenic uh, uh, fecal coliforms e coli salmonella pseudomonas and many other uh, uh, disease causing agent so we'll at the end of this presentation i'll show you when you can utilize the gray water for uh, without proper treatment and uh, when you cannot utilize next slide please so <clears throat> yeah so why gray water why not the wastewater itself okay so when you want to try the wastewater uh, for recycling and reuse you have to consider many concerns because wastewater or rather that black water or the mixture of whole waste or gray water and uh, brown water yellow water black water when you're trying to utilize the whole mixture of that particular water to recycle and reuse you have to tackle many things because when feces are there when urine are there and not only that many uh, that particular water will contain wastewater from hospital wastewater from industry so ultimately it will contain different type of multitude of different type of uh, pollutants that you have to remove but rather if you go for gray water it is much more easier to recycle in, in, and regenerate and i already mentioned that around 70 percent of domestic water use is lost as a gray water 70 percent of uh, the water use is uh, the gray water so we can recycle back that particular 70 percent and those 70 percent we cannot use for bath we cannot use for uh, cleaning our clothes all right so we can only utilize it for uh, flushing or maybe irrigation so it will save up to 30 35 to 40 percent of your water use fresh water use in household okay so maybe someone from rural area this will be kind of a uh, it's all right because there it is not an issue that much uh, but in urban areas it is an issue it is an issue if you can save 35 to 40 percent of fresh water use in your household in urban areas that will be a tremendous uh, save actually so um, next slide please <clears throat> okay so Number 11 is there. Shall I come forward again or it's fine? Hello? Hello? Hello. Okay. Uh, but I think Shubindu got some issues. Yeah. To wait, Kori, to technical error, who is him? There is problem in Google Meet itself. So. might have some issues because he's uh, presently uh, I mean as on today also he's in Dehradun so there may be some issues Uh, 
নিচে ও লেফট হয়ে গেছে হ্যাঁ কি টেকনিক্যাল প্রবলেমের জন্য বারবার লেফট হয়ে যাচ্ছেন উনি অনেকটা দূরে আছেন দেরাদুনে আছেন রাইট নাও তাই জন্য হয়তো একটু প্রবলেম হচ্ছে uh well uh, i'm i'm sorry again here in dehradun it is a bit uh, difficult time there uh, many times uh, internet issues are there so where i am staying actually so yeah so advantage of using gray water is uh, manifold because it will reduce your demand uh, for having a uh, water reservoir or uh, toilet distribution pump because it will reduce uh, if you, uh, and uh, it will increase the lifespan of a septic tank okay many a time the septic tank a uh, household is having is over flooded and due to this only over flooding is due to this because 60% of water we are using uh, that are uh, mainly gray water and it will also uh reduce the strain in public sewage treatment uh, plant and it will save the energy for uh, uh not only for municipality it will save energy for us also and it will uh, uh, uh it will give the time to uh, the nature to uh, natural groundwater research because and a reclamation of otherwise wasted nutrient that that is there the reclamation of nutrient through uh, physical chemical or biological processes that is the treatment strategies of the grey water next slide please onivanda and uh, yeah so mainly i am focusing on urban uh, uh, planning right now and uh, because that there it is it is a, a bit more issue in urban we can utilize uh, for uh, agricultural and um, aquaculture we also can utilize for personal irrigation we can utilize gray water for different municipal use like fire hydrant as a fire hydrant uh, as a water for fire protection and uh, street cleaning car washing cooling boiler feed road construction operation for this uh, this is kind of a uh, municipal oil and for non potable use we can utilize in our house for toilet flushing air conditioning laundry and floor cleaning but definitely there are some uh, reuse uh, public concern is there we will also see in uh, in this presentation and uh, we can also discharge the treated gray water in the surface water and uh, we can percolate it, uh, this gray water through uh, as a groundwater recharge uh, element so yeah this is uh, i try to uh, give you an example of a uh, apartment a single apartment in a particular uh, uh, flat building or apartment building a single apartment uh, produce around 240 gallon of water per day and if that building has around two to five flat or apartment they will produce like 14 lakh 85 thousand gallon of water per month okay so that much of water we can recycle back that much of water so next slide please yeah so general aim of this uh, particular gray water management is to protect public health to prevent or, uh, spreading of waterborne disease, to prevent deterioration of road and footpaths, because many a time due to huge amount of water flow coming, the, the drains are over flooded, okay? So if you can minimize or you can 
reuse this gray water those kind of things will not happen to avoid damage to the building and surrounding areas from induction water logging and freezing to avoid creation bad odor so this is kind of a aim of uh, why we should uh, focus on gray water management next slide please i am just trying to go to the exact uh, process uh, verification so yeah uh, this is some of the techniques okay so it is not like that the gray water should have a separate treatment facilities gray water also can definitely nowadays gray water is also treating in the normal uh, wastewater treatment plant or stp so but if you are trying to treat your gray water that you are generating in your household so then you can utilize few of this particular technique like a biological low rate system this is kind of a natural process how nature recycle back its water or any kind of waste that are generated so constructed wetland vertical soil filters soil infiltration so this is kind of a thing you have to have some land space for this okay so ponds if uh, in rural areas this is already being done actually this is uh, in rural area most of the bathing water they release into ponds okay so rural area this these are being done in ponds septic tanks so septic tanks also can but the problem with septic tank uh, if you are not segregating or separating gray water and the black water then it, it many times overflowed uh, flowed and the water coming out from the septic tank that can contaminate contaminate the nearby soil and even there are some reports that the septic tank water uh, leaching from septic tank uh, uh, the water coming out or seepage that is coming out from the septic tank that contaminate the groundwater okay so problem there are some problem with septic tank but uh, this septic tank also can be utilized for gray water treatment with the same principle biological high rate system this is kind of a biofilm formation this is in general done in industrial or in a particular established uh, uh, stp and uh, membrane this is also this membrane treatment also is done uh, are being done in um, stp so uh, next slide please on imanda there will be a flow chart uh, uh of how you can segregate yes so this flow chart we can utilize by simply installing a sand filter okay sand with different type of uh, um, diameter sand you can utilize gravels fine sand and uh, coarse sand okay and you can prepare a thick layer okay and uh, here in actually here in Uttar All these things you can utilize for simple simply you can in install a uh, uh, sand filter actually you can utilize a sand filter so the the main issue with sand filter is that uh, periodically you have to clean by a month because uh, you will pass on the uh, kitchen waste and everything so that will have some uh, food waste and other uh, biological Onimanda, can you mute yourself? So, so for separation of the COD and BOD and other suspects.
efficient even it is found that the simple uh, sand filter can separate out many bacteriological and even viral particles from gray water right so next slide please uh, i'll show you a simple house yes here this uh, i want to uh, show you in in colleges and university and in many industrial setup also they are the first picture uh, here you are seeing they try to utilize the gray water for uh, grow uh, for the cultivation of different type of uh, plants and that plant will utilize the nutrient that are present in the uh, gray water and, and they will be sustained and in many cases that uh, uh, the plants they are uh, using they are floating plants okay so they are kind of a float over the gray water and they uh, many times that particular gray water basin they utilize it for pc culture okay so co culture of such things are happening with gray water this is one of the uh, cost effective and sustainable process where you will utilize a gray water waste to prepare a value added product and uh, the the second picture of a sand filter is uh, that that what uh, i was telling that you can simply in install a sand uh, filter bed and uh, the water coming out from the sand filter bed you can utilize for car the water you can utilize for car washing and uh, even irrigation all right and even floor washing because that are almost purified not drinkable but you can utilize it for floor uh, floor cleaning car washing and definitely definitely for uh, flossing okay so here in the third picture you can see that there is i try to uh, give you an idea that but the problem with gray water uh, this kind of gray water management is you have to have some place so if you are living in an apartment that particular apartment has to have such kind of sewer system separate uh, gray water collection system that needs additional capex balance okay so that is there definitely there so uh, that's why in 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 our countries although in our country doesn't have uh, a proper guideline uh, few states have their own guideline but uh, due to this such mission abhiyan by government of india they try to include the these gray water uh, gray water management in schools and in rural areas and in urban areas also like i told you here in uh, uttarakhand all these uh, particular uh, is essential for installing a gray water management system you cannot utilize uh, uh, more fresh water uh, for flushing and everything so they have the guideline so as you can see uh, you have to have a separate sewer system for utilizing a separate tank you have to uh, keep it for flushing and uh, other such uses okay non potable uses you have to use all right next slide please anibanda and uh, All good, Jisvita. Am I audible? Uh, yes, sir. You are audible. Okay, so my connectivity is fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, Please carry on. Yeah, only one. So. yeah so uh, this is uh, I, I was uh, i was just going to tell you that uh, this is what i was doing uh, i am doing actually here in uh, uttarakhand or in eps rather so in my lab i was trying to here we have the established facility of around 
600 liters of a pond where we are trying to utilize the gray water that are being generated in different uh, um, basins and the nearby kitchens and student hostels. So luckily here in UPS, uh, we have separate sewer system for collecting gray water and also the rainwater harvesting system. So here the gray water is collected in separate uh, area and from there we are utilizing it for uh, production of microalgae. So uh, production of microalgae is very, very much sustainable because it will reduce the carbon footprint, total carbon footprint of our earth because it will utilize the carbon dioxide to produce the food through photosynth through photosynthesis. You know that it will also increase the uh, water footprint okay, of our planet. Not only that, microalgae, uh, so three, four, uh, process are there for microalgal production but we are uh, basically doing the uh, cheapest thing that is the surface cultivation of microalgae using gray water on even the next slide please there uh, after collection of the gray water we are extracting the pigments we are extracting the carbohydrates we are extracting the proteins and we are extracting the lipids these lipids that are being extracted that are uh, uh, that are used for uh, biofuel production we here have a established uh, renewable energy uh, lab there they are utilizing the extracted lipid for biodiesel production the biomass also uh, some of the people they are using uh, these proteins and carbohydrates they are utilizing for uh the food and nutrition department here they are utilizing it for uh different food supplements uh development they are actually working on edible cutlery so those particular edible cutlery they utilize the protein and leap carbohydrate that are being extracted through these uh microalgae okay so this is kind of a very huge sustainable thing and if you are cultivating the microalgae, you uh, you can remove 80 to 100 percent of the nitrogen and phosphate. So you will be uh, you will know probably that uh, you will know about algal bloom, right? There, the main uh, thing that is phosphate, right? So if you, uh, before you release or dispose the uh, water, gray water, or any kind of waste water better you remove the nitrogen and phosphate content from that because otherwise algal bloom will be there not only i'm not telling that only phosphate removal will will will, uh, will not affect will affect the algal bloom but removal of phosphate because phosphate is a critical factor in in that particular thing so nutrient removal using microalgae you can utilize through uh, so after you grow the microalgae one set that after you extract the microalgal biomass that particular water will be utilized directly for other purpose all right most of the bod and cod will be released around 90 percent cod will be released from the gray water after the microalgae uh, uh, microalgal growth all right so one problem is that with uh, this particular uh, we are facing right now is that that gray water we are utilizing that contain a huge amount of bacterial load okay so uh, millions tons of water how we can purify or separate the bacteria so nowadays we are actually trying to so whatever the bacteria uh, is having in the in the in the gray water so we are trying to utilize a co-culture method we are trying to isolate some microalgae okay that can grow with the particular bacteria uh, so uh, and also we are trying to utilize some of the uh, microalgae that can kill those particular bacteria so co-culture or against culture anti-culture kind of a technique we are trying to utilize next slide please uh, anivanda
yeah so i was telling in the beginning that still now there are some uh, concern related to public acceptance of these uh, uh, Utilize, reutilized or recycled grey water. Definitely, uh, when people are uh, asked about recycling and reuse of the uh, grey water, uh, most of them uh, replied that they will be okay to utilize this uh, re uh, recycled grey water for toilet flushing and water gardening. Okay, uh, but very very few people accepted it as uh, as for bathing uh, or in laundry use very very few percent okay so there are still so more awareness is necessary where uh, people should understand the uh, uh, people should actually change their habit and uh, also the um, small scale gray water uh, purification systems should have been should have been installed in either household or in community level like in para level or in uh, village level they have to there have to have some uh, uh, mechanism where the gray water will be uh, because nowadays in rural areas the groundwater are being used for cultivation of paddy so this gray water itself can be utilized. So the community level uh, gray water management strategies should be there so that the gray water generated throughout the village that can be utilized for uh, cultivation, paddy cultivation or other cultivation that, that are being used. All right, next slide, please. I don't have much slide, so three, four more slides. Yeah, the guidelines. Uh, yeah, there are established gu guidelines by WHO uh, for it, uh, in 2006. WHO have the guideline for grey water reuse and uh, the treatment strategies that has to be uh, carried forward. So most of the country uh, in general follow that guideline, but uh, other industrialized countries like China, Australia, Denmark. They, USA, they, they have their own uh, uh, grey water management strategies. In fact, in many countries, uh, they are now utilized, uh, uh, recycling and reusing the grey water in, in, many, uh, in most of the cases in community level. In India, we as such, we doesn't have any uh, such kind of uh, uh, policies. But in such mission uh, guideline, there are mentioned that in school and in rural level and in uh, urban level also, gray water management strategies should be there uh, to, to get a permission of any kind of construction project. Okay, so, uh, but also in, in the central uh, public health and environmental engineering organization, and Ministry of Agriculture and Horticulture, they also have the guideline for, like for Agri Ministry of Agriculture and Horticulture, they have the guideline for utilization of gray water for irrigation purpose. So separate, separate ministry have their own guideline for uh, different type of application of gray water, all right? So now, uh, when, uh, next slide please, when you should utilize the gray water and when you shouldn't, okay? You should only use uh, this gray water uh, for bathing, showering, hand machine and washing machine. Only this particular source you have to use. No flushing, flushed water or no urinated water you cannot use. Uh, for grey water uh, recycling, okay? Only use grey water on the gardening uh, and rotate which areas you water. Only apply enough water that the soil can ab absorb, okay? Because grey water, if you are using without treatment, that may contaminate if that particular grey water have any kind of bacterial or viral uh, contaminant, uh, you should be very careful if you are uh, using untreated grey water. 
stop using gray water uh, during wet periods during monsoon you you shouldn't uh, wash your hand this is kind of a who guideline for uh, utilization of gray water and gray water that can be used straight away without the needs for pretreatment include gray water from shower bath and laundry this particular water you can utilize directly for irrigation and other purpose non potable purpose obviously install a lint filter in your washing machine okay to separate out the dust next uh, uh, slide on ibanda uh, so uh, there are few cases where you cannot utilize grey water like if uh, uh, one of your family members is uh, having gastroenteritis you cannot utilize then the grey water uh, stop utilizing the grey water and uh, the uh, the gray water is uh, you cannot store it for 24 hour without proper treatment if you can treatment it then you can uh, obviously uh, store it but uh, without treatment you cannot store it for 24 hour uh, over 24 hour and uh, you can cannot reuse the water when you wash domestic pets because that contain high amount of uh, bacterial contaminants uh, you cannot use gray water for pools and ponds all right so this is few of the things where you cannot use gray water all right uh, next slide anubanda please so uh, this is all uh, in my uh, presentation in this picture i just uh, uh, now it is commercially available actually in japan they are selling this kind of uh, uh, flushing uh, equipment where uh, you can uh, the hand basin is set it up uh, in the uh, flush where you can wash your hand and that washing water will be stored in uh, so you can util, uh, utilize the flush after using the uh, toilet so this is kind of a simple solution this kind of simple solution we can install we can innovate in our own so that we can minimize the fresh water use and uh, become more sustainable each and every activities or water related activities whatever we are doing uh, we became more sustainable for keeping the this fresh water uh for our future generation all right so uh, it's done by, from my side anivanda so if anyone has any query or you want to discuss uh, uh, i'll be happy uh, to discuss thank you am i audible i think fine y yes you are all audible okay hope you all have enjoyed it a lot and so many things those are very new to us actually we came to know from his research and thank you uh, dr shubhendu uh, for your very thoughtful presentation uh, now if you have any queries to ask or to know something more about this one to two question because we are running out of time if, you, if anyone have any question no even even you suggested you can suggest uh, uh, maybe okay uh, uh, if yeah if you have to... any uh, if you have any suggestion also or you can, if you want to add anything or you want to know anything more you can ask him no issue i think there is no question okay uh, thank you once again uh, i have one small question uh, that when you are uh, shubhendu can you hear us Yes, yes, Anibanda. Tell me. Yes, uh, I have a one small question. When you are utilizing the water, collecting the water from household, you are already separating those at the source, or you are uh, taking and uh, mixing all it together and using it for your algae culture or whatever you are uh, planning to do. Currently, uh, uh, currently in UPS. they have the possibility of uh, 
post minimization no uh, my my question was uh, whether you are separating the uh, multiple source water i mean all are grey water but they have some different sources so you are uh, separating those at the source and then uh, taking uh, those to utilize as per your purpose or uh, you are mixing all those as a uh, single source hello i think uh, connectivity again gone from him yeah yes anivanda can you hear me yes it's okay now yes so in ups we are actually collecting separately already it is segregated already oh. so we are collecting the grey water only from basins from kitchen waste all right so uh, we are separately collecting separately okay 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 fine and uh, for uh, for everyone and for shubhendu also uh, maybe we have discussed uh, previously uh, long back uh, currently we are doing one uh, research work uh, that um, not to use water especially in case of toilet so it is eco sanitation program and it is uh, you will be happy to know that uh, first of all they are installing this in uh, various villages in sundarban area okay and uh, after two years okay of, that's uh, that's after, good after, after two years of rigorous uh, uh, training and uh, discussion and all this so people are now accepting it see uh, this kind of for this kind of things my perception is there is uh, there remains some social taboo you know to use the waste okay so but in uh, what obviously what is, and in water it is it is very much very much more actually yes yes yes, yes. that's the main issue but um, uh, surprisingly in village areas uh, people are really accepted it and running right now they are running almost uh, more than 300 uh, eco toilet those are uh, not using in the toilet they are not using uh i mean specifically for latrine they are not using water not a single drop of water and the end product is uh, there is some uh, uh, mechanism the toilet is uh, the latrine is created in uh, with such design that um, there are some vaults okay so once one vault is uh, filled up with the stool then again another vault will be uh, will come into action now the what happened with the previous vault which is already uh, filled with the stools uh, they will lock it completely the cementing okay and they are keeping it nothing they are doing nothing just keeping it for at least 8 months to 1 year and the end product is very good it is it is just compost and nutrient rich okay so this kind of uh, i mean uh, yes. now now the action has come to not to use the water at all because there is so many issues if you are using water we are wasting it and there are uh, we are generating waste water so again to recycling also a problem and uh, so much i mean you are doing research and so many others also doing so there is need so many things but if you are not using water at all so that's also a i mean possible solution uh now we are i mean we are working on that issue uh, especially on the um, how those compost which are generating what is the quality of those compost how much those are safe for the plant and for the food chain okay okay uh, no more question or no more addition from my part uh, if anyone have okay nobody have any question i think so now uh, switch is in the please carry on okay now we are almost at the last part of our today's program i would like to thank our uh, resource person dr shubhendu manna for his valuable lecture and we are grateful that he accepted our request thank you sir thank you so much i also want to thank our principal sir for his support and active participation participation because sir without you we are not able to do such kind of programs uh, you are always encouraging us dr bhaskar chatterjee sir our uh, 
coordinator of the IQAC, who is also the assistant professor of Department of Chemistry, Navadivida Shagor College. Dr. Dipanjan Ghosh, the academic convener of Navadivida Shagor College, and who is also the assistant professor of Department of English, Navadivida Shagor College, and the, all the teachers of the of Navadivida Shagor College, and the students who actively participated in this uh, program. I think, I hope uh, your knowledge will be enriched by this lecture. At the end, I hope this kind of program are arranged by your department in near future in, uh, in the various occasion related to uh, environment, related to protect or related to uh, generate awareness uh, among us. So thank you, take care. We are concluding this webinar. Okay. So thank everyone, you very much. thank you. Okay. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all. Uh, thank you, Suchita, for hosting this meeting. And thank you all the students and all the professors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much thank for you. inviting. Thank so, you. Everyone can leave now. Anirban sir, uh, can you just stop the recording because there is a network issue okay. from my end. Let me check. I don't think I have, as I am not hosting, I don't think I can uh, do anything with this recording. I cannot switch it off. It has to be from your end. It has to be from uh, host end actually. I cannot do it. Okay. The, okay. Uh, thoda sabai beri ja. Student jara achis. No, recording to actually, I'm going to put the watch in. Actually, I'm a laptop to go to Chi, but I'm a Wi Fi off for a gatch, a current to a gatch. You are a me try good Chi Dara. I'm a laptop to connect to China. No, sit up to you mobile connect to a corner. You also be the kitchen. I'm a mobile to be connected. Can you mobile to get a court off for a gatch? No, you can you can recording collage. You can never click only off for you. Of Hutchen, I'm recording the Chris Kochi, but Hutchen. Acha, actually, Toko can host his Vedakachino. You can take a Kochi, you can take a Kota. It's a summer, actually. Now, why is it not? Hi, what's that?